Citizen Air Commandos of the 919th Special Operations Maintenance Group. The events transpiring across our country following the tragic death of George Floyd show we all still have work to do. As members of the United States Air Force, we should all hold ourselves to the highest standards, which includes treating each other with dignity and respect on and off duty. Over the past few weeks, through self-reflection and conversations with leaders across our enterprise, we have asked ourselves the hard questions. How can we continually improve the climate within our organization? And what can we do to further help enhance the environment where all our members feel welcome? While the solutions are not simple, nor can be resolved overnight, we can all help move the needle of progress in the right direction by listening, learning, leading, and accepting. Each one of us has a different story to tell. All are unique in their own special way. As we move forward, everyone can expect more open conversations. Open and honest communication is paramount. I encourage each one of you to continuously and openly communicate with one another in your work centers. Ask yourselves these questions. Do you feel comfortable approaching anyone in your work center and honestly discussing discrimination? Do you feel comfortable talking with someone from another race if you yourself have been discriminated against, whether that discrimination occurred on or off duty? If the answer to either of these is no, then that should be our starting point. Moving forward, open communication does not mean we leave our professionalism behind. Discussions will occur without malice, nor be received as such. We must be committed to perpetually discuss the topic of racism and discrimination. This will not be a check the box and move on. Continue to treat one another with dignity and respect. Build relationships to better understand and relate to the circumstances of your fellow airmen. Rest assured, the Chief and I have full confidence in all the members of our elite enterprise. Time and time again, this enterprise rises to the challenge. We see these dynamic times as yet another opportunity where we all can be part of raising the bar of excellence. The Chief and I look forward to continuing the journey with you.